All right, guys. Postpone TV here. We're going to do the near automata event. What should we do today? There's going to be ten quests, and uh, we're we're just gonna go through it. Um, there's a nice story that comes along with it. So let's go ahead and and go. So the top, it's gonna be ten thousand, and I'm pretty sure we have more than that. Yeah, we should be able to essentially cruise right through this. So I'm going to go ahead and uh, mute myself, and uh, let's enjoy the story. Enemy forces sighted. Here we go. Built to protect mankind, two androids fight the machines. The female is 2B, a powerful warrior who fights on the front line. The male is 9S, a support unit who aids 2B from afar. When they fight as one, nothing can stop them. But 9S has a secret. He wants to free 2B from her world of unending war. One day, as they pursue yet another enemy, they find themselves making their way through a massive limestone cavern. Foes attack and fall, one after the other. The machines stand no chance against them. I'll cut down everything in my way. Continuing mission. I'll cut down everything in my way. Continuing mission.
Think you can stop me? Ha! Continuing mission. I've got enough death for everyone. They proceed deep into the cavern, then deeper still. Finally, they reach their destination. The darkness is absolute. But the moment they step forward, they are enveloped in a brilliant red light. Only then does 9S realize his mistake. The enemy has been using electronic camouflage. There are machine life forms here. Dozens of them. Suddenly, 2B emits a heart-rending scream. She is infected with a virus. A weapon designed to destroy an android from the inside out. Her eyes begin to glow red. It is a worst-case scenario, and 9S knows the best thing for him to do is abandon the fight and retreat. But he refuses to even consider this option. He will save 2B. He must. For that is his purpose in life. In a desperate maneuver, he links himself to her infected mind and begins diving into its deepest, most hidden parts. I've got enough death for everyone. Your numbers don't mean squat. I'll cut down everything in my way.
To be's mind is a maze. A labyrinth. Finally, he throws open a door and beholds a strange sight. Flickering memories of himself. All from the perspective of 2B. He sees himself in a forest of metal. A frozen ocean. A boiling desert. But he remembers none of this. And all the memories end in exactly the same way. With 2B killing him. She does so over, and over, and over, and over, and over, and over. But for each death, there is also a first meeting. Each time, he says, people who know me well usually call me nines. He says this dozens of times. Hundreds. I'll cut down everything in my way. Continuing mission. Your numbers don't mean squat. I'll cut down everything in my way. Continuing mission. Your numbers don't mean squat. Think you can stop me? Ha! Firing. We won't lose. In another part of 2B's mind, 9S locates the virus and disables it. The enemy stumbles in response to the unexpected counterattack, 
and the two take advantage of the situation to escape. Later, 2B reports the completion of their mission. As 9S lends his damaged companion a shoulder, he thinks, Why does 2B kill me? Why are my memories erased? And why do we always meet again? The answer eludes him, and he cannot find the words to ask. However, so long as he remains in her mind, so long as a part of him is in her memory, he doesn't care how many times she kills him. Their fate is a never-ending spiral, and they cling to its threads. So 9S walks on through the darkness. Well, that is, that is the Nier Automata storyline, basically, in the collab. So, um, that's about what I'm going to record here. Um, we'll go through the gift box real quick. If there's a pull, there's a pull. Um, we'll check that in just a second. But I'm going to explain what I'm going to do next, because it's probably not going to be on stream. I'm going to... Do the event that is for Argo. Um, that'll be on stream. I'm gonna do this this uh, first quest here. Um, I don't know how much of a storyline is actually behind the summer event, um, but there is gonna be ten quests um, up here. You can toggle, 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 normal, hard, and uh, very hard. Um, same idea here. I can now do very, um, hard. There's not an actual story behind here. They're just harder quests. Um, you can see the suggested power level here. So what I'll probably do is uh, get all the way to very hard here. Um, I mean, it's only 3,200 power level, but I'll probably show a couple clears here and then I'll probably do the same thing here. And I'll do that um, at a later time. If anyone cares to see it, maybe I won't. We'll, we'll figure it out, but what we're doing now is we are going to be farming these metals, and you can see there's 77 of them so far. It takes 200 to get the units, and each unit comes with a sword. You can see it comes with a sword or whatever they, they use as a weapon. And then there's the third weapons that you can get here as well. And then there's... Um, awakening materials that allow them to to max themselves so we're going to be targeting those first this entire first two rows and then this here the other thing we'll get is we're going to get these mama medals and uh, then from there it's pretty much going to be anything in here that allows us to awaken them so that'll that'll be the next video and uh, we don't have enough for a pull um, it's, there's no exploration, so that is uh, that is where I will end this. Um, this one's a little shorter. It's just an event collab. Um, so thanks for watching.